The fastest woman alive in the 100 meters, Elaine Tomsahera. People, this is truly, no exaggeration, this is truly big news and could change everything. Welcome back to the channel, people. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, thank you for making it Peter Lloyd World. Go ahead, please hit the subscribe button so we can continue to go. When you do that, hit the notification bell so you know in the next video drops to drop a video at least once a day here in Peter Lloyd World. Also, if you enjoy the content, please hit that like button. And finally, leave your thoughts after this sports analysis where we take a look at and we break down the races. So, are ready? Yep, good to go. Elaine Thompson Hera is the second fastest woman all time in the 100 meters the third fastest woman all time in 200 meters the double double gold medalist from the 2016 and 2020 world championships over the women's 100 and 200 meters and last year's commonwealth double champion in the 100 and 200 meters she is without doubt a phenomenal talent who has let's say made some questionable decisions regarding her sprint career and has this has led to a tremendous amount of controversy around her and her, these choices that she as an adult has a right to make now we here myself and the team at peter lloyd world have consistently stated you know and we will never back down that from the statement that a healthy elaine thompson hera at her best cannot be beaten by anyone alive today not that we are aware of um, and this is borne out by the fact that she's the second woman, second fastest woman all, all time in the 100 meters with that astounding 10.54. Let me refresh your memory. Now, after leaving MVP Track Club uh, in 2021, after an astounding year where, of course, she became the uh, double, again, the double Olympic gold medalist in 100 and 200 meters and the fastest woman of all time in 100 and second fastest woman alive. And at the time, she was the second fastest woman all time in the 200 meters. Well, herself and her I guess our management team opted to leave MVP Track Club and Coach Siva Francis, who had over the years brought her to this point. This was, of course, extremely controversial. Um, new, many of you were, were very, very angry at her. And she opted to have her husband, who was not a top tier coach in, by any means or any stretch of the imagination, coach her. Um, and it just, well, it led to this. Alfred Rollins, late six, in they go. Women's 100 meter, Francis Muir is there, to the line. Great tip. Francis Muir to the line. Good job. Time. Eleven point two three. Well, news out of her camp says that, well, all of this may be about to change. The news that we're about to report is, I think, really, really big news and could change everything. Because you see, she, she's finally gotten herself a coach outside of her husband. TVJ Sports has reported that back-to-back -back double Olympic sprint champion Elaine Thompson-Hera is now taking coaching instructions from former MVP coach Shaniki Osborne. This temporary arrangement has been in place since this year's national championships where Thompson-Hera only qualified for the relay pool. The 31-year-old Tom Sahara previously took orders from world-renowned coach Siva Francis before switching coaching duties to her husband Darren Heron at the start of last season. The double sprint Olympic champion will be taking instructions from the former MVP coach Shaniki Osborne for the rest of the season. Osborne confirmed that a temporary arrangement to assist was made after the national championships in July where Tom Sahara qualified for the relay pool but not the individual event. Osborne said, I have been working with her since 
we have been at MVP. So it's similar stuff. So I'm, I'm just working with her for now. Not sure if it's going to be, a, be permanent, but just working with her for now, said Osborne, who previously coached at Papin High. Osborne went on to tell the Radio Jamaica Sports crew, it's according to her, probably she's trying to see how things work out to the end of the season, and then she'll make a decision, but it's up to her. Now, this, of course, is my two cents. Elaine, please, please let her coach you. Because, because at this point, no disrespect meant, you know, the greatest respect um, to your present coaches. But clearly something is not right. The chemistry isn't working. You are the fastest woman alive and you could not make the individual team. Now, we're happy to see you. Um, here's a picture, the video of her at the at, in the village um, over there in Budapest. But it's such a waste to have the literally the second fastest woman all time, the woman who has come closest to breaking that world record, not be running as an individual. And the last two years, I mean, the whole of last season, she was just peppered with um, injury issues. She we didn't do that badly, but this year it was it got chronic. So please, Elaine, please. I'm not the only one. I think we're all asking. At least try Shaniki Osborne since she's from the MVP camp. She knows the coaching style. She understands your body. She knows what's to do, what to do because she can't be any worse than what's happening right now. And I'm a huge fan of, of yours. I mean, like I'm genuinely a huge fan. In fact, the first video I ever did on track and field was about you. I'm a massive fan. I do think that you are a tremendous talent. And look, we all make mistakes. And I can and I personally understand why you left MVP. I honestly understand it. You know, but please, you know, let I, I get it. I understand why you want to see if it works out, etc. etc. And that's logical. And I follow the logic and I respect that. But I am hoping against hope that you put together a crew of people who have worked with you in the before, in the before and understand it. Because clearly, one of the things that Stephen Francis said, and I got it, he said, look, myself and um, Elaine have a chemistry. I understand her body. You need someone who understands your body. You know, you're a finely tuned machine. You're, you are the best at what you do. And I'm not saying that there's not other great sprint talents, Shelly and Fraser Price, the greatest of all time, um, Sharika Jackson, Shakari, uh, Talu and others but the truth is no one has ever come close to running that 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 time that you ran outside of Flo Jo with the 34 year old world record so these people this her getting this new because I guess she realized that things had gotten really bad if she the fastest woman alive could not actually make at the individual women's 100 meter team I mean that's her thing so I don't know about you, but I think this is truly, truly big news. And I had to share this with you. I really want to hear your thoughts. And I'm hoping that someone tells her that I'm here screaming in the background, you know, sh shouting into the wind. Please, 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 whatever you do, do not go back to whoever was coaching you before in the last two seasons, because that person, regardless of who they are, and no, and, and I mean, we have to make logical decisions that are not based on your emotions. And I'm not presuming to say that your decisions were based on your emotions, but come on. I am pretty certain that this young lady will do a better job. But this, of course, is my two cents. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Now, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button. Remember, your royals, kings, and queens. Bless up!